Hunt Club Creek makes a, a pretty interesting case study within the Rideau River watershed. It's this tiny little stream that uh, anyone outside of the community it would, it would be surprising if they knew it was there. And it begins in such a, a, a kind of innocuous way. It's really just a drainage ditch coming from the former CFB uplands. So it's a pretty unimpressive beginning. But then when you get down to the mouth of the Hunt Club Creek, after it has wound its way through, you know, the Hunt Club golf course and then the Hunt Club residential community through a little patch of green space uh, owned by the National Capital Commission, it's actually a really beautiful little stream as it trickles quite steeply down the... Uh, the hillside into the Rideau River and you can kind of get down to that spot with you know not much effort because there's a footpath that uh, people have carved and you can imagine yourself being quite far away from the rest of the city and that's what's sort of special about the Rideau River all the time is that it's this gem of a system within the urban area and so that's what I find really kind of intriguing about the Hunt Club Creek. John Sankey reminds me of the man who planted trees. He's a tall fellow, just uh, how I imagined uh, that character in uh, my mind's eye. You know, the wide-brimmed hat, you know, uh, has a pretty quick gait at the age of 80, but is uh, very methodical in his uh, manner and uh, wise in his words. He's a, kind of a born ecologist. Um, he's in sync with nature, and um, he expresses that well. And he adopted this creek uh, that was really not on anyone's radar particularly because it kind of flowed through the Hunt Club community more like a, a, a drainage ditch. But he rallied the community around it, uh, got the uh, Rideau Conservation folks to get active in monitoring the stream in an in-depth way with the community volunteers and essentially created a quite lovely little amenity within the community.